This is a eight by eight and a quarter by three inch guana cast bowl blank. I had to cut off that extra quarter inch because I need a perfect square. And I'm mounting the bowl blank to the worm screw and because I'm not uh, going to make this round. I'm going to use the tailstock for support this time. Initially. This is something I really enjoy doing. The majority of what my gouge is passing over is air. And I can only see the wings of this bowl a little bit better than you can in this video. And the challenge is making the wings even top and bottom and all the way across and also when you're working with something that's almost invisible getting the angles right it's all about gouge control very deliberate movement and riding that that bevel or I should say gliding that bevel very gently moving across that air so as not to check into the wood or dig into the wood too deep. This guana cast is a very interesting wood. It has a feel, I should say a, a tool feel of a mixture between hard maple and soft maple. And maybe it's just this piece. I've never turned guana cast before this. But it has the typical weight of a uh, central to South American exotic. And you would think that it would be, you know, super hard, like some of those woods, but it's not. It's, it's, uh, well, it's very pleasant to work, I think. You just have to control those tools because of the uh, uneven nature of the grain or structure of the wood. I'm not really sure how best uh, to say that, but I think you understand what I'm saying. I hope you do. And once I have the mortise established, then it's all about shaping uh, the foot of the bowl around the mortise which is what I like to do. I think it looks good. That's just me. So I'll shape the foot and do the final shapings of the outside before I sand it, finish it, and flip it. I need to take a minute here to to show you this amazing gift that somebody sent me. Somebody named Mandy Rutt. I've been corresponding uh, through email 
with Mandy. And I never expected this. This nice. I love it. That's great. I mean, this is just amazing. <laughs> No, oh, I love it. Chesty. His nameplate or name patch above his pocket says Chesty. <laughs> the back fender of that motorcycle says Semper Fi. So cool. Thank you so much. So not necessary, Mandy. I really, really am thankful and grateful for you just thinking to buy some Marine Corps memorabilia for me. It really touches my heart. If there's any prayer warriors in the audience, pray for Mandy. If you're not a prayer warrior, just send her some positive thoughts. What a special lady. Here you can see a little bit where the, the bowl is pushing back, uh, the grain structure. It's, like I said, it's hard to describe. It's give and take, and uh, it just causes a little bit of vibration even when you're uh, working what seems to be pretty smoothly. And that was me shaking off the heat. Those, uh, those wood chips get pretty hot sometimes. Now, not wanting to make things too easy on myself, and I say that somewhat uh, sarcastically because I always do this to myself. Um, I've got to undercut this a little bit again, just to to keep the bowl, uh, uh, I should say, the wall width even all the way around the bowl. And I'm shooting for about a half inch width, but I've got to go. Uh, somewhat concave on the side there on the bottom side or bottom uh, section of the wall which makes access uh, all the more difficult and because it's a little bit deep and the walls are steep it's easier to hog out the wood on the bottom with the scraper the scraper is nice and sharp you can see the shaving And then the final touches on the wings. Mm -hmm. 
I sand from 80 grit all the way up to 1000 grit and a lot of it by hand because of the wings on the bowl. I put about three coats of walnut oil on this bowl and then a coat of clear shellac. It gave it a nice uh, satin, pretty finish. Now I knew that we'd be able to see some grain in this bowl because of how the blank looked, but I had no idea that it would be this pretty. The chatoyance is really amazing the twisted grain very nice getting close to 40,000 subscribers I just can't say it enough thank you I really appreciate your support your interest it just motivates me so much so if you like what you see and you haven't subscribed please do Thanks for watching. Semper Fi.